inside barn three, the uh, north side of the uh, coverall. We had a lot of water in here. We're cleaning it all out. To get rid of get rid of this mess. ideal if we had the ability to clean out the barns uh, like once every uh, month or so but it's just not feasible it's not ideal to leave them inside the barn when we're cleaning it out they're so wet we've had the last few days has been beautiful it's been perfect drying conditions however we're calling for um, rain off and on for it for the next week and because it's so wet in there we figure that it's best for the animals to uh, clean it out completely and this way the uh, it has a chance to thaw because it is a concrete base okay, and then the dump wagon gets unloaded here it's a concrete had concrete walls about six feet tight. This is where the manure gets stored and it's allowed to sit here for a year before it's uh, spread as manure onto the uh, fields as a natural uh, fertilizer. so far this year and we still have a few more cleanings to do for before summer Upside down, upside, like this. Grandma, help you. Here you go. You want to hold it? No. No. You want to get this little black beauty on the baby bottle? Yeah. Okay. Get him. Get him. You want to help Grandma feed this one? You want to hold the bottle? Hold the bottle for Grandma. 
He's almost finished. So the time has come. We're gonna be weaning these beauties and they're gonna have their own space where they will uh, have access to water, creep feed, hay, nice dry straw bedded area. More room than what they have now. We like to use bean straw, soybean straw, as the base for the first layer of bedding in the barns. And sometimes there's little bits of uh, soybean in there still. And there's also the shells. See the little shells? So this way they want to eat it. It's okay to eat it, especially if it's clean. We produce our own bean straw and our barley straw. Once this is spread, we'll, we'll get a bale of barley and take a look at how that looks, how it differs. In your opinion, Brian, what's the difference between the uh, barley straw versus the bean straw? The benefits of one over the other. The bean straw doesn't absorb anywhere near what the barley straw does. The barley bean straw is just not that The bean straw is a good base, so like corn stalks, same thing. So there could be bits of barley in here too, right? The way it is in the bean? Yeah. And that's why they like to eat it. So yellow. Bean straw? Barley straw. Difference in color. the nose we just treated it again so well, obviously we're gonna have to keep our eye on this one it uh, we talked to the vet yesterday and he said he didn't determine if it was an infection so what we've done is we've lanced it uh, because there was pus in it so we drained the pus by making a small cut and that's why you're seeing the blood on it we gave it penicillin yesterday, we gave it Medicam just now, and we also put Cephadry in it. And then we're going to take a look at that tomorrow and see if she looks any better.